So today I want to talk about this guitar. This is called a Shiji. <laughs> Shiji reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in doing a review of this guitar. And a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, have not only reached out uh, to tell me about your experiences with this guitar, but also to ask me what I thought of it. Let's check out the guitar, and especially since I have a lot of questions myself, and I know a lot of you, based on the emails, have questions as well. So let's talk about the guitar. First of all, I just want to tell you right up front, it's made in China. It's a Strat style guitar made in China in the $750 range. If you guys are familiar with the brand Eastman, you know that they are a high-end made in China guitar company that makes uh, really expensive like Gibson-esque guitars that are very uh, sought after by a lot of players. I think what Shiji is doing is they're trying to do that same thing. Obviously, it's made to look like a Strat, but as we know, there are many guitars from you know PRS and Sir that look like Fenders. This guitar, the way I feel it and check it out and kind of interpret it, is specced out more like a Sur guitar. Everything from their logo kind of having a Sur kind of look to it. I don't know if that wasn't done intentionally, but it has that vibe. This headstock is not necessarily a Sur style headstock, but they have other models in their collection that have that Sur style as well. Things I noticed that were interesting was on the website, on the specifications, it said that it had a modern C-shaped neck. This could be considered a modern C-shaped neck, but um, I'm going to tell you right now, it's got what I call shoulders, shoulders on each side of the base and the treble side of the neck. So it's not as C-shaped as much as it is U-shaped. In fact, this neck feels a lot more like what Ibanez AZ is making and what uh, Sir is making. So that neck profile is very cool, by the way. Actually, I, I like this a lot, but I want you to be very clear that even though it's specked out and says it's a C-shape, I would have never gotten that from holding this guitar. In fact, when I was playing it in the first hour of me playing it, I kept really reminiscing on the old ESP made in Japan style guitars. Um, that were like Strat style guitars that were really high quality. This is what this guitar reminded me of. It is a roasted maple neck. It is quarter sawn. You can tell because when you look at the wood, I'll show you in a picture, um, you're looking for what I call pixelation. Now, this doesn't have a whole lot of it. What I mean by pixelation is kind of like if you've ever seen a movie with uh, soldiers in it, and modern soldiers, they have this pixelated camouflage now. You want the wood to look like that. Little teeny squares of pixelation uh, is going to tell you that's what that's at. Now, the thing that really blows me away is this flame maple skunk stripe. That's a really impressive thing. In fact, I went through some other uh, high-end American instruments and I, I couldn't find one. So if you guys have a, a, a comment down below, can you comment down below if you've seen this before, a roasted neck with the flame maple skunk stripe in the back? I, I haven't seen it. So um, I'm really impressed. The neck definitely has like a tongue oil finish on it. There's no heavy finish on it. It could have a, a thin finish and then be sanded down, but I don't think so. I think we're just feeling the actual wood here. The original ones, if you saw some of the early reviews, they had the Shiji locking keys. What I liked about uh, Mo, Mo Land, who's the guy I talked to at Shiji, one of the things he let me know was from selling the first models, they noticed that there were some issues with the Shiji, I know I'm probably saying that wrong, Shiji locking keys. Uh, so this one has Wilkinson, they're Kluson style, but they're Wilkinson branded tuning keys. I believe they're going to try and upgrade to locking keys or go to locking keys for uh, future purchases. Again, curious if you guys end up buying one of these, let me know what you guys found with the tuning keys and if there was issues, so be aware of that. Bone nut, that seems to be very accurate and cut, of course, really well. I'm not going to really beat this dead horse, but the quality of what I'm feeling feels right. It's, it really feels like somebody's just taking a guitar and spending a lot of time. Not only do the frets have a high polished uh, dressing on the ends, there's this other thing that's really interesting. I, I really had to get out the flashlight and look, and I'll show you a video what I'm looking at. It's like the inset, like plastic lines where the fret lines were like filler. It's really crazy, and I'm not sure why they did it, but it's again, it's a very nice attention to detail. There is not 
alumilase, or lumilase, I should say aluma. Is it lumilase? Lumilase. Uh, alumilase, whatever. Uh, they're not do alumilase dots, so that's not a feature on the guitar. Um, of course, it has a spindle truss rod, which I love. I think uh, most guitar players have really come to understand that that's a great way to have a neck adjustment. It's easy to get to. You don't have to have a bunch of weird tools or Allen wrenches. Um, the fact that uh, more and more companies are going to that, it makes sense. The fit and finish work on the neck on the fret work is perfect. They're Jaskar nickel frets. They are not stainless steel. Again, I had to confirm that because one website did say stainless steel. And I think that was a misprint because when I did as much research as I could, everything says that it's Jaskar, but it is the nickel frets. Now, if that ends up being incorrect, I'll put a comment down below and update it and pin it. The bridge is a Godo style. It says Shizhi on it, but it is definitely a Godo style bridge. It has a brass block. It has the Godo style uh, uh, saddles and um, a screw in tremolo arm and very nice quality for sure. There's no questions about that. <laughs> The pickups say custom 62 made in Japan's and again, doing a lot of research, what I've really concluded is I'm pretty sure these are Godo pickups. <laughs> They're Godo made in Japan pickups. I was able to disseminate that from a couple things. I did as much as I could at looking and trying to figure out what are these, why 62 made in Japan's? It seems so strange. You would never see a pickup says 1950s made in the USA as a brand or just that without a brand on it. So doing research, here's what I learned. Um, one, the Shiji guys, um, they tend to use a lot of Godo components. And um, two, I was able to find a set of Godo pickups that match the specification of these, even down to the um, to the ohms of each one when I, when I metered them out. Five-way switch is a quality switchcraft style five-way switch. The potentiometers are alpha pots, which are a widely used brand of potentiometers by a ton of manufacturers. One of the complaints I have is it's got two tone controls and they went with the original tone wiring that I don't really like where the uh, middle tone does the neck and the back tone or the bottom tone does the middle. I like it when the, the back one does the bridge. You can switch that in one second um, and uh, I'll make sure I'll do a video in the next week just showing you a quick little fix on how to do that. It takes about five seconds with the soldering iron and we can put that right on there. Uh, and that'll help. This uh, specification says it's a two piece older body. That's why I requested to have the sunburst model uh, so I could see that really clearly. And um, looking at it, I had trouble trying to even find one seam, much less uh, any others. And to, this, to the point where I'm not even 100% sure that there is a seam down the center. This could be a one piece body that was sent to me. And that would kind of make sense. If they're saying they're doing two piece bodies on maybe the painted guitars, maybe doing a one piece. What I can tell you for sure is this is definitely at most two pieces, but looking at it, I don't see the seam for the second piece. And I've looked really hard. I like the, uh, the mint green components, although I thought it would look good at better with and mint green pick guard, but this still looks pretty good. I don't think anybody's gonna have a qualm about that. It has the Shiji neck plate, which of course is just like a Fender American Deluxe, where it has the slight carve right there. You'll notice this body has the same carving uh, style as a Sura, not a Fender. Now, some of you guys remember Strat Pluses from the 90s and certain 80s era of Strats, you'll know that this has the same kind of cut. And what I mean by that is it's not very rounded. Um, the body is not very contour rounded like a modern Strat, of course, is, and then a vintage Strat, which is what Fender is now copying uh, from themselves as their older ones. This has more of a modern carve. And what I mean by that too is, if you look at the Fenders, just the way that they round over, this is just very flat. The internal uh, cavity is shielded. Uh, that's nice. It's a nice little feature to make, take some time and shield that in there. So let's uh, play it. Let's talk about some stuff. First thing I want to show you is this neck pickup, which is really nice and smooth. <laughs> And I'm keeping the reverb kind of down because I don't want to just drown the guitar out with reverb. 
So I wanna go through a couple of settings. I really like, obviously, the neck and the middle and neck pickup. So let's go through the, the neck. gonna have your middle neck pickup and a couple things obviously like I said you can use your tone control for your neck pickup and that's nice because if I do a quarter turn back I get this kind of warm very acoustic kind of sound so it's really cool if you had to play in a church band or a band where you're just gonna play some chords That's really important because sometimes strats get a little too jangly, right? So if we go to that, those two positions, right? So it's nice to be able to quarter turn back, just like I said, that, that neck pickup. And it just warms up the sound just enough, especially if you're really not trying to punch through the mix, right? You're trying to be in the background. to the position with the bridge in the middle. I'll kick that reverb down a little bit less and we'll go to the bridge and this is what I was saying the bridge is a little bright I really wish that tone control was assigned to it I would just take a little bit of that high end off uh, it's definitely clear and it's not brittle in the room I am not kind of shrill or hurting my ears I like about the pickup. I'm going to hit some overdrive. We got the Friedman Motor City. As you guys know, I like this dri uh, drive a lot. Obviously, I'm running a very expensive amp into a cabinet with a more expensive overdrive. Keep in mind, I'm just running this amp because it's really clean. I like the clean tone. So what I'm going to do now is use my Boss SD1 Super Overdrive, a uh, Super Drive, Super Overdrive pedal uh, that you can pick up anywhere for like 40 bucks. This is what the guitar sounds like with a $40 pedal. <laughs> play the uh, neck and middle or the middle neck on the distorted size too much but so I'm gonna go right to the neck pickup because I think that's where most players who are gonna play a Strat style guitar even with distortion are gonna play on the neck a lot and it definitely as you can see warms up it gets a little meatier a little beefier definitely feel the percussiveness of that low E string 
Another thing to mention is the guitar comes with a deluxe gig bag, much like some of the high-end manufacturers in the US that are now just doing gig bags instead of cases. I prefer gig bags, but I know a lot of you like cases, so just keep that in mind. If you order one, you, it's not going to get a case, so you may want to order a case from your uh, favorite manufacturer to make sure you have a case for something like this. Obviously, it will fit anything that's strat-shaped. I put a link down to a video I found of their factory, uh, which looks very small, and I can tell that's probably why it has so much hand finishing on it. it looks like they're spending a lot of time on each instrument. The shop looks more like what I've seen when I go to either the United States or Germany or other countries where you see a smaller shop where more of the workers are probably guitar players and definitely the, the people who see the guitar at the end of the process are definitely guitar players and there's a lot of attention to that detail. The guitar screams of that. Of course, I can't speak to every guitar. This is the guitar they sent me. They could have made sure this was extra nice for me, but what I would tell you is if this guitar was 20 or 30% not as good as it is, it's still a pretty good guitar. And I had about eight of you email me saying you purchased these guitars and you wanted to let me know that you had a great experience. And that of course kind of motivated me to want to do this video as well. So if you had a great experience, put that down in the comments. That helps players try a guitar like this or kind of get some feedback on a guitar like this. Uh, if you had a bad experience, please let everybody know that too as well. Um, give the company an opportunity to maybe respond to you or uh, let the other players know that, hey, the, that there's a bad service or bad quality out there as well. Helps everybody make a more informed and educated purchase. Uh, videos like this are definitely more like, there's no way you're just going to find this guitar just laying around. They ha You have to buy them direct from their website. I'll put a link down below. I'd like you to know uh, that I don't get an affiliate off of that. So I'm just putting the link as a courtesy to the company since they sent out the guitar to review. I figure I'll help them if for any of you that want to buy one, you know, obviously make their sale. I hope this video helps you guys. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today, checking out this instrument. Uh, look forward to seeing your comments down below. As always, if you're not a subscriber, you can always click the bell and click the subscription button to get notified when I make videos. Uh, hit a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And as always, thank you for your time. And until the next time, know your gear.